hello welcome back to my channel if you are new on here this is cuisine du monde a channel where we excite your taste but today i'm going to show you all how i made it this yummy and crunchy yum balls and before i do that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet kindly subscribe and also turn on your post notification to get notified anytime i post a new video let's get right into it so i had this yum and if I boil it, it wasn't going to be enough for the family. So then I thought to use it for yum balls so that everybody can have equal share. So at this point, I'm going to peel it. And on my side, I have a bowl of water that right after peeling and um, cutting it into a considerable size, I'm going to put it right into the water so that it doesn't discolor. I'll then right away wash it till it is nice and clean. Then I'll put it in my saucepan, set it on fire, add in some salt, quite an amount of salt, okay? And then I'll allow it to cook till it is tender. So right here, I decided to exhibit the African woman in me, but mm -mm, it didn't work. It actually burnt me. I had the fork right in my hands, but instead chose to use my finger. <laughs> Don't be like me, okay? Use your fork or knife to check if your yam are well done, okay? So right away, I allowed it to cool for about five to seven minutes. Then I went in with my potato masher, mashed everything till it's well smooth. So depending on the kind of texture you want, you can just leave it at this point just after uh, mashing it with a potato basher. But I went in with my fingers again to make sure everything is well smooth. I didn't want any form of lumps in it, okay? So right after mashing, I went in with my butter. Make sure the butter is well mixed and well incorporated, okay? Um, I also leave the list and the measurements of ingredients in the description box below so you can check it out anytime you want to try this recipe okay because i am using salted butter and also because i added salt while cooking the yam i am not going to add in any more salt but if not you can adjust the salt after tasting it Next, I'll be adding in my powdered paper, and at this point, it is totally optional. Add in as much as you can, depending on your heat tolerance. If you love more, just go ahead and add in more, okay? I'll then go ahead and mix till everything is well incorporated. Then I'll add in my chopped onions and carrot. I'll mix till everything is well incorporated again, okay? Then right away, add in my milk. So at this point, the milk is going to serve as a binding agent. So it is advisable to add in milk. Or you can also use um, egg if you prefer. I will also be adding the milk in bits till I get the consistency that I want.
so this is the kind of consistency we should be looking out for so right after i am going to mold it into round shapes and also make sure that they are all of equal sizes while molding add in a little bit of pressure to make it compact just to make sure that it doesn't fall apart when frying it So after molding, make sure everything is gorgeous and nice this way. And finally, I am going to prep our uh, um, coating agents. I'm going to add in milk in a deep bowl. I'll tell you why I'm using a deep bowl in a bit. Uh, breadcrumbs and some flour. I'll then go ahead and coat our balls with our flour and this is why I'm using a deep bowl. The deep bowl is going to help me coat everything nicely without making a mess. Okay. So the first thing is I'm going to coat it with the flour. Make sure every part of it is well coated with the flour and put it in the milk then lastly in the breadcrumbs. So when I put it in the milk, I only use a finger to roll it all around to make sure every part of it is well coated and then I put it in the breadcrumbs. I also shake it out, make sure every part of it is well coated with the breadcrumbs. Now this way, I don't get my fingers meshed up or the whole place meshed up, okay? After coating all the balls with our coating agents, finally I am going to deep fry them on a medium high till it is golden brown. And this takes about 5 to 7 minutes to be done. It doesn't take that long. I am always excited when it gets to the end of my videos because the only thing to be done right now is to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but again it is sad i don't get to share them with you okay and <laughs> and um this is how you want your young balls to turn if you want it a little browner just allow it to fry for additional one minute and that should be okay don't fry it any further all right so if you like this video kindly hit the like button please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed also share share this video and recipe to your loved ones out there let them know about this channel and let them also learn about one or two recipes on here okay we are almost hitting 500 subscribers and i'll be so glad and happy if we share this link all right thank you all so much for watching in a bit, you are going to know how crunchy our yum balls are. I am going to shut up so that you all can hear it. Did you all hear that? It was so crunchy, moist on the inside and very yummy. And I hope you all tried this recipe. Till I see you all in my next video, always remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye!